This tutorial is brought to you by flbeattutorials.com. And uh, today's tutorial came in from a Twitter request from a user. And uh, basically, they were asking, how can you pull a, uh, a finished instrumental or beat into FL Studio uh, to lay down vocals on top of it? So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, just like uh, this follow follower did, if uh, you have something that you want us to do a, a FL Studio tutorial about or beat making tutorial, uh, just uh, send us a direct message or uh, uh, mention us uh, with your question and uh, we will do our best to make that happen. Uh, so um, let's get right into it. So we have FL Studio open here and uh, in this folder we have some beats. And uh, what I want to do is bring that into FL Studio so I can lay down some vocals for it. So the first thing I'm going to do, if, uh, if you don't have it visible already, is go to View, Playlist. So now I have my playlist here. I'm going to go back to Windows Explorer where I have the beat saved at. And I am just going to drag and drop that into the playlist. Okay, so now I have that there. So if uh, if you know the tempo of the track, that can be really helpful, especially if you want to edit the vocals and uh, you know really fine tune them with the beat. I recommend that you change the project to the tempo of the beat so everything lines up on the grid. Uh, that is, if you know what the project's tempo is. And uh, so we'll just go back to the default here. And uh, if you don't know it, you can try the detect tempo and uh, give it a range, we'll say like 75 to 150 and uh, try that out. And FL Studio has determined that the tempo for this track is 94 uh, beats per minute. So you can hit yes to check that. And let's take a listen here. And uh, looks like it did a pretty good job detecting the tempo. Uh, but you should probably uh, try to figure out what that tempo is from the producer you get the beat from ahead of a time. Ahead of time, uh, just to make sure you get everything lined up perfectly to the grid, because that will make your life easier down the road. Okay, so now we got our beat in here. And uh, we want to start laying down vocals for it. And uh, there's only certain versions of FL Studio that can uh, you can record audio into. I believe it's uh, the producer version and above. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you don't have some of the, the options that you're going to see in this tutorial, you probably have a, a lesser version that doesn't allow you to record audio. So uh, just keep that in mind. So... Okay, let's get into recording the vocals. So if you go to View Mixer, uh, you basically have your mixer here. And uh, select a channel other than the master. We don't want to record our vocals onto the master track. So uh, let's just select a different insert. Uh, I'm just going to use insert 3. It's an empty insert, nothing on it right now. And in this box here, uh, this is where you're going to select your input for recording. So if you click in here, you're going to see all the available inputs you have uh, for recording audio. And uh, yours is going to look different. It depends on the audio interface or sound card that you have. And uh, you want to select the, the input that you have your mic connected to. So you would want to select... Uh, in this case, I would select Project Mic 1. Oh, and uh, one thing to keep in mind, when you're recording uh, vocals, you want to record mono. Uh, you don't want to record a stereo signal for vocals. So uh, definitely come under the mono section here, not stereo, and just do uh, Mic 1 or whatever yours, your mic is connected to. Okay, so we got that set there. Uh, the next step is clicking on the, the record button up here at the top of FL Studio. Now, when you do that, you have a couple different options. And uh, the, the first two are probably the one uh, that you would primarily use the most. Um, 
you can either record the audio into Edison or you can record it directly into the playlist as an audio clip. Now, uh, for me, I think it's easier to record the audio directly into the playlist because you can see it along with the beat. Uh, if you want to do some external editing uh, with Edison, uh, you can record it directly into there. I'll show you both methods real quick. So if you select audio into the Edison right here, Okay, so I would stop that. Now I don't actually have a mic connected to that input, so you're not going to see the audio going into Edison uh, as we do this tutorial because I I don't have my mic connected to to that interface. Um, I got it connected to a different interface for recording the audio for the tutorial. But uh, you can see that's how you would record it into Edison. And basically what you would have when you uh, press stop is an audio file within Edison of what you recorded. And if, uh, if you liked what you had and you wanted to bring that into the playlist, you could just click this button and drag it into the playlist at that point. So let's cover the, the next method here. Uh, we'll go back to this uh, insert here and we will click record again and this time i want to do audio into the playlist as an audio clip it would stop the recording and uh you can see that uh it it was recording throughout that section and uh you, basically your vocals would be in this audio file right here uh in my case like i said i don't have a mic connected so you're not going to see that um but this is the way i recommend you do it because when you have it in the playlist it's going to be right there next to the beat for editing and uh you can just keep going with that uh if you want to uh go back and uh, double that original track or do ad libs. I would just select a different insert, uh, come down here again, select your uh, mono mic track, go back to record, select audio into the playlist as an audio clip. All right, now you would see your second audio clip that you recorded right there. So uh, that's basically how you do this. Uh, if you have any follow-up questions for this one, uh, let me know. But that's the basics of it. And uh, also, I just want to point out real quick is uh, since you're already in the mixer, if you want to add some effects to the vocals, you're right here. Say you want to put some reverb on it. Uh, you can do that or some delay or whatever effects you want to use, but just wanted to point that out real quick. Uh, thanks, guys, for listening. Uh, if you have any more questions on Twitter, we're at FLBeatTutorials. We'll talk to you soon.